Skipper, why are you so late? Okay, calm down. Listen, I had a bunch of other stuff I had to take care of, but I'm here now. Episode 3 of Fears to Fathom, Carson House. If you guys haven't seen the previous episodes, you should go and check them out right now. I have both episode 1 and episode 2. And obviously, if you want to check the game out yourself, go do so. And the cool thing about this, most of you might know this, but if you don't, these games are built around scary stories sent in to this dev. So, um, yeah, it's, it's cool. I know, you said it. I'm late. I'm talking too much. Let's get into it. <laughs> My name is Fisk. <laughs> Enjoy the video. September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 20-year-old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18. But I remember this incident like yesterday, as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and uh, almost always became friends with his clients. One day, he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed someone he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me that the man would pay me a hundred bucks just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Oh? We're here? No, this is a laundromat! I was lied to! <laughs> There's something about the vibe that these games gives out. I just love them. Look at that. These are so uncommon in Sweden. These uh, top loaders that spins like that. Usually if we have a top loader, it goes in and then it goes this way instead. Free puppy to go. Should we just save him? I think we should. Oh. Oh. Basement. Are we even allowed to do this? Let's check this door first. Dot, dot, dot. All right. I guess we say goodbye and we head down. Oh, someone is closing the door. Perfect. Hello? Well, this is interesting, ain't it? Shift to sprint. Yeah, we can do that. What is going on? A little bit of psychedelic music. Some good vibes. Oh... There we go, we got someone. Is that you, Dad? Bleach? What? Where did you put it? Or you? Where is the bleach? I need bleach. What even is this place? Who are you? I said I need bleach! Noah? What? what? Nap time. Oh. Nap time is over. Where are we? We're here. We're here. You said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah! Wake up! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just getting way too into this. Noah, wake up. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm sorry, Dad. Jeez. You still think you can do this? I got this, Dad. Roy called and said the keys should be under a fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. And I, like I said, keep the doors locked and do not open the doors for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only in for the snacks. <laughs> I'm making it sound like a little brat. I feel like this good mood I'm in is gonna change really quick. Bye, Dad. That's a beautiful car. Is that an Impala? I don't know. Everything is lit up. Perfect. Is the dude home? No, backyard is it. I'll take it this way.
This is so weird to me. Why why is uh, these electrical boxes sitting on the outside? Wouldn't this be better if it sat inside? Maybe someone can make me understand why that's a thing in the States. I actually don't know. I'm very curious. Is it just because it's easier if you're not home, people can come by and just work on it without you being home? I have so many questions. Back door. Had to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Getting at the key. Ooh, got a pool? Oh, that's the doggy! Hey! Oh, we can pet him as well. Oh, you're such a good boy. Why are you crying, though? What was I doing? Oh, yeah, rock. Fake rock. Where would that be, puppers? Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Can we go in this way, or do we have to go around again? Oh, nice. It's keys to all the doors. This must feel so weird. I never babysitted a house before or whatever. House watching or whatever. Um, just getting into someone's home and be there. I had to pee. Oh. Maybe it's not that weird, to be honest. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I'm not gonna go down there. Where is the bathroom? Here? No way. Sweet. Pretty big. A huge tub. Damn, that's long. Alright, let's pee. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> I spilled. Aim for the paper. I don't know. I don't know why that came into my mind. Uh, escape to read. Wait, what's this? Evelyn Cooper. This school is full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I th I don't think you're either. Oh my god, I'm trying to read. Roy Carson. Okay, that's him, right? Thank you for taking the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave this early. Mr. Carson? My bad, it's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Uh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Haha. <laughs> He's my dad. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Seek. Seek? Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him and the house. Now that's I'm I'm here. You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. Okay, so that uh, that's Seek is the doggo. You are a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement. All right, right on. Sweet. Yeah, sure, dude. <sighs> it was down here, right? I'm not gonna think about anything. The basement was a little bit too dark. Oh. What do you mean by that? Should we just go up again? Almost forgot. I uh, apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab a flashlight in the storage room upstairs. No problemo. Why are you playing with me, dude? Where's the storage area? Do not disturb for any reasons. Oh, oh, media stuff, right? Green screens, the lights. There's a little office. Uh, the storage area. Rail was too lazy to model the garage. <laughs> Wait, is that no way? That's that's the um, that's the dev. I like that. <laughs> that's a fun little cop out. That upstairs, you said. I realized the house was way bigger than ours. Okay, let's not sneak around here. There's another bathroom. This is gonna be the storage, right? Any lights? Wait, whoa! Oh no! I forgot about these. Go up to the window. And you can check stuff. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there you go. Throw F for use. Okay, perfect. All right. That's it. Bubba. Yeah, pupper. Where are you at? I got the food for you, doggo. Had to open the can. Oh, obviously. Kitchen. That's the opener. Oh, that's cool. 
cool. I like that. <laughs> uh, dog food. There you go. I'm coming, I'm coming. There you go. Man. Here you go, dude. Get some food in you. Throw that in the pool. Close the door. What a mess! Oh, hey kid. Heard from Walter you're a computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately. And my whole security system is tied to it. Oh, yeah! You got a whole security system up, up here. I have a lot of expensive equipment uh, laying around. Don't want anything to happen to it. Yeah, I understand. I'll uh, just take a look at your computer. Thanks, kid. Not this one. Let's go and check upstairs then. Dude, this is huge, ain't it? Thanks, kid. Alec Carson, 5387. Couldn't open this. All right. Just laundry room. Do you leave this on? Blair. Oh, no. Of course the voice meter goes on. Is that a little bit of foreshadowing? I don't know. If you guys haven't seen uh, the second episode of this, you might not know what that is, but you, you'll... Uh, you'll see. So, server room. Yes. Perfect. Mr. Carson's office looks like a good spot. I could sit down and work. All right. I remember I was going to... Uh, Calculus that night. I say that right? I don't think so. Uh, Ali Carson, fifty-three eighty-seven. Welcome, Windows XP. That was a long time ago. Uh, guess the flag recycle bin. What do you want me to do with this then? Internet browser. How many? Islands does Sweden have? Nothing? Alright, fair enough. Free trial. Limited edition. Get full protection. Yeah, dude. Are we gonna download virus? Oh, antivirus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Download? Oh, antivirus. He said his computer had been acting up, right? So here we go. We, we're getting it. Perform full scan, dude. Done. Risk high Trojan horse. All right. Threat not remove. Remove. Perfect. Hey, it's working. We can see the basement. Uh, anything? It's done. It was just some Trojan. I I recommend you only download software from trusted website. Tell that to my kid. But thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. No problemo, dude. Happy to help. Can we study a little bit? You weren't feeling it at the time. All right. Evelyn Cooper. Is that our girlfriend then? Weird. Reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on right now. You gotta go watch it with me. Wait, that place got a TV? Yeah, hold on. Why do you sound so surprising that this t place got a TV? I'm stuck. I think I saw it down in the living room, right? Yeah. Hello. Jesus Christ, dude! Jeffrey. I'm Jeffrey. And today we are cooking... <laughs> Cat food? It's my favorite dish. It's super enjoyable and healthy. It's my favorite dish. Is this what kids today are into? This is just freaking me out. In Sweden, we had a uh, kids show called Ika i Rutan. That reminds me of this shit. If you want to see what I'm talking about, just take the word that was on the screen and YouTube it. Like a baby's 
suckling upon a mother's bosom. Oh, Dude, that's man. gross. Okay, now while that's cooking, we can work on an appetite. Jeffrey really just be Jeffrey sometimes. <laughs> Jeffrey so Jeffrey. A piece of cardboard dipped in milk. <laughs> we will need a piece of cardboard, a glass, and some milk. To start, we poured the milk into the glass. Next, we dip the cardboard into the milk. What now? Also, nice? I think you should get groceries before it gets too dark the outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. Groceries. Uh, ranch, strawberry. Okay. This yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Amazing. Time to eat. Dude, this is all whack. What the heck? Uh, wait, where was the cash? Sorry, I gotta run. This dude is on my ass right now. Wants me to get uh, groceries in the middle of the night. Is something weird about this? I don't really know. I, don't, I haven't really seen anything. Come on, stop talking to me! You moved on the best part. Fucking retell it to me then. Sorry, I have something really... I get stressed out when I get... When, when you, someone writes multiple messages, not the whole sentence, you know? In one, it's, it stresses me out. Nightstand. Cash. I'm just waiting for something to jump out on me. Is this it? No? Well, this is probably just a guest room, ain't it? Here we go. Nightstand right here. Yoink. That's such a nice little tea detail, that. Just a car driving by. Carson, I swear my f***ing mum. For your trouble, get something for yourself. Thank you. Oh my god! You can take Alex's bike. It's outside in the garage. Oh! Look at that! We're biking! Oh! Oh! Taking a right, where I usually take a left. Look at that. Changing stuff up, eh? Who does biking? No hands? 9.22 p.m. Ah, here it is. Watch out, dude! Dude! Uh, ah. Just leave the bike <laughs> there, then. <laughs> Maniac! Hello! Good evening. Can I grab a basket? Yes, I can. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sorry. He's working night shift and he's, a, oh, he's a cashier and he's like, why? I'm, I'm so sorry, dude. All right, so what did we need? We need ranch, strawberry, cocos bread, milk and eggs, garden peas, honey, rice, Uncle Tony. What? Hey, son, do you work here? No. Ah, okay, son. What's, what is it? My son, no. Okay, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to help you. YDD. What do you mean, YDD? Spell it out. <laughs> Why am I so angry? I'm trying to do stuff here. I forgot. What is it? Ranch. Yoink. Cocos bread. Yoink. Honey. Ketchup. Yalay. Milk and eggs. Sh shit! Dude! Stop! Get in again! Stop! Why? Get in. Rice. Uncle Tony's. Eggs. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Thank you. And then peas. Potatoes. Toilet paper. Uh, cereal. Ah! Oh! And speak of the devil, Turner and Andy? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. Hey, my girl? What was her name? Caro something. Oh, dude, I said that you're not dating anymore. Oh, yeah. He hoped you that I'd shake so quick I didn't even realize. Not listen to him, but dude. She bought tons and tons of cans. I think she's throwing like a party or something. 
You know anything about it? Bro, she looked way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. Ew, I think she's more like a goth. Goth milf energy. Are you guys done? Anyway, dude, you know good night? Nothing. <laughs> you should come with us, dude. We're going to the movies. No, no, I'm good, you know? You mean that Alex goes to school with my sister? Her kids are real weird, though, especially since his parents spill it up. Yeah, 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 you guys have fun. All right, dude. See you at the school on Monday, then. <laughs> See you guys around. Give me the peace. Should I build this? Yes. No, wait, what? Why? Why? What? We have ranch. We don't have the ranch. There you go. Thank you for shopping at uh, Nooks. You have a good one. I'm so sorry, dude, for throwing that at you earlier. So, uh, talking about the girl, talking about the kid, talking about the dad and the family. I don't know what's going on here. This is pretty gosh darn interesting. Vod. Why did I? Why did I fall over? <laughs> Nine forty-six p.m. Still had a, a lot of schoolwork to catch up on. No, did we leave this open? We didn't lock the door. Like this I thought I would get some schoolwork done all right let's do that where where is the uh... Dude, this is way too big where is the stairs here we go I just had to pee first Done so? Oh, wow. Oh, whoa. Andy Reynolds. Dude, you said you are at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Roy Carson's divorce. Did I spell that right? I think I did. Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats from angry fans of his ex-wife. Oh, that's them? That's, okay. Roy looks pretty neat. He looks like a sweet dude. It's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the co-OO and the f and co-founder of BN Media. After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, Former actress Alyssa Brown Carson. Source, sources say Re Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to co confront him. Did you hear that? Oh, I get. Wait, what? Yeah, you heard that, right? Yeah, that was. Oh. What is going on? That's a dude. Clearly wants in. Let's go and see what he wants. I don't like that. There's so many um, pieces of information that's thrown at us right now. It's like we don't really know what we have in front of us. But now we know about the crazy fans, right? So, I mean, that might be the guy, right? Who is it? Your delivery from your one medium size from Pizza Depot, sir. I didn't order any pizza. Your one medium size pepperoni pizza, sir. You must be on the wrong address. This is 224 Boulevard, right? That is correct. It's ordered by the name of... Um... Roy Carson? 
I mean, he might have actually... Oh my god, look at that face. He might actually order... <laughs> oh my god, why? Do you do that? I already saw you. <laughs> he might have actually ordered the pizza for us, right? Hey, this is probably a very strange request, request but... Do you think I can wait inside? Rain is over. Uh, this is not my house. This is not your... Okay, no, it's not my house. I understand. You can just say no. Whoa! Well, you have a good day. I mean, you have a car. Just get to your car. Oh, what a weirdo. I thought I watched on TV while eating. Put that on. Carson. Look out for some pizzas. You should arrive in a minute now. Enjoy. All right, so it was him. There we go. Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. <gasps> Dude. Jack. Are you doing your work? You'll have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. If what? You tell me what the radius of two squared is. I'll think about sparing you. My name is Jack Bardex. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. Can I use the bathroom? This is so weird. Hope everything is okay. Evelyn, yes. Good night, Noah. Everything is okay. Sorry I caught up with work. Uh, good night, Eve. Sweet dreams. Hurt. Dude, channel 10. Freedom. Show some weird things, doesn't it? Oh, he's coming. A toilet. What now? Come on down. Look at me. I'm the toilet man. I'm the See you, Evan. Toilet. I'm the toilet man. Come over here. I'm the toilet. I'm the toilet man, dude. Stop being creepy. What about over here then? I know I heard a knock on the door. Am I still chewing on that pizza? Let's try to eat this last part. There you go. All right. Perfect. We got it. Turn off the TV. Go up. Yeah, we heard a knock, right? I'm not gonna go and uh, look through every window. It's easier just to check through the cameras. Oh! Did you see that? Got flowers? She went around this way. Oh no. Alright, let's go and see if we can get those flowers then. I don't like this at all. It's starting now. Isn't it? It's been building up. Where is it? Let's try to get some homework done. Unknown sender. Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? I assumed it was the wrong number. It was strange, but it uh, I dismissed it. Uh, the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. Besides, I had a lot of work to catch up on. Yeah, because you just keep on putting it off. One thirty-six. Did I fall asleep? I think I did, right? While I was in the middle of my schoolwork, the power went out. Oh, shit. Five unread messages. Oh, does this mean that we have to go... Wait, where's the... Oh, no. Where's my flashlight? Oh, well. Yeah, we need to go out, right? Let's read the messages. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You're being very immature right now. Fine. If you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyway. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Who are you? 
in that moment, I was almost certain that I had another prank by Turner. I just knew guys like him very well. Besides him and Andy, were the only people who knew I was in the house uh, here sitting alone. Jesus. So let's see. Oh, it's way too dark. I don't like this at all. I mean, if, if you have a security system, maybe that runs on a separate battery or a backup or something, because... Why? If you can uh, just turn off the electricity from outside, why would you have a security system? I was suddenly... Oh, it was suddenly very cold outside. The dog is barking at something. Yeah. I mean, we saw someone go this way, right? Let's see. Go back, pub. Hopefully, Seek is not getting hurt here. Uh, turn the power back on. Perfect. You go back, Seek. I could tell that someone had cut the powers off uh, from the outside. Yeah. How? Why? So weird. Wait, did you hear that? That was another door, wasn't it? You said we would stay friends. Apparently this is not funny and you know it. Wait, didn't we say we left our girlfriend? Is this her? I had to go back to my school work for Monday. Oh, is this all a jealous ex? It seems like it because uh, they talked about the me and the girl in the store, right? And uh, no, yeah, I didn't close this. And then uh, she's talking right here like she's trying to make me jealous as well. Done. I had to I had a strange gut feeling about this the situation. I might, it might sound stupid now, but it just didn't want to overthink things. Someone is moving. Come on, man. We even closed the door like that. If you're home alone, you don't close yourself in like that. I'm pretty sure when we got back in, we heard the door close as well, didn't we? What? There was that. Dude, well, yeah, it's a female. I take that's uh, that's our ex-girlfriend. I'm pretty sure. How am I supposed to get away from her, though? There we go. Can we just? I heard something downstairs. Oh, did you see that? I could swear on my life. Okay, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to read. Sorry, I was, uh, I was just too. You know, I, I was looking outside the window. Oh, I don't like this. Crouch. Wait. Oh. Yeah, there's no one there, right? The door is closed. Everything is good. Don't do it. Seek was acting very weird. 
Catch him. You're gonna be okay, dog. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had to confront him. Whom? I didn't have his contact. I could only ask Andy. Can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing? Andy. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Dude, he's at my place right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The guy doesn't know what we know. We were gonna go to the movies with uh, Brady, but then I started pouring, so we stuck uh, with a sleepover. I attributed all of that to the lack of my sleep. I was aware I have tendency of uh, being overly paranoid. The only logical thing I could think of at the time was to keep an eye on the security monitor. Let's do that. Jesus. Poor lad, he doesn't know. It's not him. Now when I think about it, I should have called it cop. cops. By the time I was uh, en engrossed in my own thoughts, that the idea never entered my head. Oh, we got movements again, do we? Dude, wait, did you check out the article? It was Brandy who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. There's someone moving around. That's breathing, right? I felt my heart skip a beat. I froze and kept staring at the screen in pure horror. Hello. She got a knife. We're gonna have to hide in the room just across the hallway. She was right outside the door that I was in. Dude, you know what? Are you in there? I really miss y missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. How did you get in here? I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. You need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. This is exactly why. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. We didn't have a second chance! <laughs> you know, I could turn you into the police for this. Do it, and I will fucking kill both of you.
Dude, fuck you, woman. I'm out. Oh! Run, 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 run! down the block my dad called the cops though by the time they arrived she already left the house but i knew where she lived Kara was one of those the first people i met on a dating site she was three years older than me and i found her cute so we started dating however two months into our relationship she started doing drugs i tried to get her help but she turned it around on me as if uh, i was trying to change her one day i had enough and i had to break up with her she was trying to convince one of the cops that she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. But of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything. From the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that... That nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and the alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced to a long time. Wow, what a little nice story, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Faith, Fears to Fathom. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as we're trying to reach 75,000. And if you like the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. That's it for me this time. Now, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Fisk. Thank you for watching.